It's actually just as important to find out how to get rid of a keyframe as it is to make a keyframe. If we wanted to get rid of this keyframe in the middle of those spans, I could just select the keyframe and the most natural thing for me to do would be to hit the delete key at this point. I'll hit delete and we actually see something different happened. What I just did is I deleted the camera icon from the keyframe and I'm left with a blank keyframe. This is exactly what the keyframe looks like when we make a brand new layer. And it's basically the same thing. It's a keyframe with no graphics in it. Now you'll notice in this case, the blank keyframe also has the ability of having a span attached to it. We can see the effect this has on the stage by moving the playhead around. Now it's kind of obvious up in the timeline, if I move my playhead back a little bit, we'll see the camera from the first span of frames. But as soon as it gets to that blank keyframe, my camera is going to disappear. It's going to stay gone for two more frames until that span ends. And then we have another span where the camera reappears, but in a different position. Now this is actually useful. It's a great way to have something disappear if you're going to bring it back. But it's not always what you want. Remember, what we were trying to do was actually remove the keyframe entirely. Now it's not hard to do, but it's just an extra step because what we need to do is clear that keyframe. So I'm going to go back to that blank keyframe we left behind and I'm going to go over to Modify, Timeline, and you can see down here we have the ability to clear that keyframe. Now there's a couple of other easier ways to do this. One is to use the keyboard shortcut. Remember, to create a keyframe, we just need to press F6. To get rid of one, add Shift to that. And if you press Shift F6, that will completely remove the keyframe. I'll go ahead and clear this keyframe from the menu item, and you can see that that keyframe is deleted, the span has been deleted, and the original span has extended back out to connect with the next span that's left over in the timeline. There is one easier way that I tend to use much more often because it's right at your fingertips, and that is a right click. Now, if you don't have a two-button mouse on a Macintosh, you can use a control click for this, but if I go to the second keyframe and I right click on it, you can see that we have a whole bunch of different options of manipulating that keyframe. We can insert and remove frames, we can insert keyframes or blank keyframes, and right there is my clear keyframe. So I'm gonna select that, and as you can see, that removes the keyframe and its associated span, and the remaining span just extends out to fill up the rest of the timeline. Blank keyframes can actually be useful. You can use them as placeholder for any item you want to add later, or you can use it to explicitly get rid of something out of a layer itself. And we can create a blank keyframe directly instead of what we would call a normal keyframe. Now I still have frame 12 selected right here. I can insert a blank keyframe a number of ways. I can go to the Insert menu under Timeline and insert a blank keyframe instead of a keyframe. In the right-click menu, we just saw that command a moment ago, I'll right-click and that's where I can insert a blank keyframe. And if you like the keyboard shortcut method, let me go back out here and just select that frame, and what we'll use for that is F7. And you can see that created my blank keyframe for me right there. Now I'm just going to clear that one so we can review clearing any keyframes by right clicking on them. We'll choose clear keyframe. And the last thing I want to show on this is if we actually make a new layer, we can see that what we get is a blank keyframe and usually the program will increase the span to match whatever the end of the movie is when you insert a new layer at this point. Let's remove that layer for right now. I'll just click on the layer and click on the trash can icon there at the bottom of the layer stack. 